Hey there guys, welcome back to my tutorial on how to install shaders with Optifine on a Mac because since like the new Optifine update, Optifine now supports shaders, which is a good thing. Anyway, so what I wanted to show you was how first of all how beautiful this is and how to do it. Also Optifine you really do need Optifine if you're using kind of a crappy well, at least not not crappy, but not gaming design Mac. Because if you are using, well, if you aren't using one of those gaming design Macs, or just computers in general, then you'll need shaders. Or else, it will lag the absolute shit out of your computer. And as you see right now, it might be lagging, lagging the shit out of my computer. That's because I'm recording at the same time. Usually it doesn't do that. And just take my word for it. I've done it before. And it usually doesn't do that. This is a Mr. Meep shader, if you guys can't tell, which you probably can't. Um, video settings, shaders. This is, um, vibrant shaders. I like it better, but... It'll lag my computer even more while I'm recording, and it has this weird thing where when you turn around, it kind of blurs your screen, and I really hate that. And it doesn't when you're just moving quickly, too. It's just, in general, even if you just, like, oh, cool, there's a cow, or some pumpkins, it'll just do that. Even if you're walking, it'll do that, which makes it really hard to see properly. Like, if you can know what, if you just see what I mean. And it lags my computer even more, for the purpose of this video at least because I'm recording in this so I I like this one currently if it if it only is for the reason that um it doesn't like my computer but um also I love those minor details they added to this pack like for example just the waving of the trees well personally that's a really big deal to me but I don't know if it's a minor thing or not to you I suppose some people would count as a minor thing, but at least for me, I really enjoy it doing that. But it isn't like the biggest feature. The biggest feature is probably just like the lighting. How, how beautiful the water looks, kind of how it's like waving. I like the water better in um, Sildars. I'll show you currently what it looks like. It looks much better in, in Sildars, the water, in my opinion at least. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Look at all the attention they pay, like those little specks in the water. How lag, how much laggy it is when I punch because of... This is so beautiful. Um, also I do like to apologize, or I would apologize, and I am apologizing for the insanely loud fan of my computer. Please ignore that. Do me a favor and ignore that. Anyways, time to get on to the tutorial. I'll show you how to do this. I won't actually do it because I've done it and I don't want to mess it up. Because it took me quite a while to get this correct. But I will show you the steps to do this. You'll just want to go up and minimize Minecraft. i go over here. I'll just close these. You don't want to pay attention to this stuff. Um, currently I'm not, not logged in as TGOS, so, um, yeah. So basically what you'll want to do after I close all these tabs to show you stuff, you want to go to, um, Optifine, you want to search that up. You want to go down until it's actually the Optifine thing. You want to download any one of these, depending, I suppose, how good your computer is. Probably do that one. You will click on it. You'll, you'll to continue, don't mind that fly thing. Wait for 10 seconds. You know how this thing works. You've probably downloaded from AdFly before. It's like pretty popular. Although at least a lot of things use it. You know, click skip ad. Close that. Then you'll download that. Since I've already downloaded it, I won't do that. So after you've downloaded it, you'll, you'll open it on my cluttery desktop. It's right here, you'll open it. And it'll ask you, it'll usually, it'll ask you your computer and whatnot. Oh, oh my god. 
usually say this downloaded from like an untrustable source. So this thing should come up, you should click install, but if there's anybody done that, I won't do that. Then what you'll do is, um, you'll, um, no, try to save. So you'll quit Minecraft, if you won't, well, I'll quit Minecraft, you shouldn't have it open while you're doing this. I'll open Minecraft. Wait for it to open. Also, while this is unloading, which is already loaded, but anyways, we are we might do like a realms kind of playthrough. Oh, like Graham might record it, or I might record it. I'm not sure. He probably will. But um, anyways, there kind of should be like a few of these things. Just I hate that thing. It's like weird. It kind of just happened. But you go and you click, select Optify and you click Play. You click play. I'm using Sfax, by the way. I suppose this will be. I suppose this is a Mojang team or something. Okay. Anyways, so you then you'll go to options. You go to. You go to video settings. You go to shaders. It should be. There should be nothing for you here right now. You click shaders folder. Uh, by the way, um, what you need to do first, actually, there shouldn't be, like, a shaders pack folder for you. So what you'll actually want to do is, um, never mind. What you'll actually want to do, screw this, what you'll actually want to do is you want to, if you've never, if you haven't done this yet, if you don't have a shader packs folder, which you probably shouldn't, this is your first time doing sort of thing, you go to Optifine, you click Edit Profile, you click Open Game Directory, or go down, you'll, you'll right-click, you'll click New Folder, and you'll type in shader packs, all lowercase, but I won't do that, since I um, already have one. But then you'll have a shaders pack folder, then you will um, go and download a shader, like for example, like this one, I guess. I don't exactly recall what it is, but I'll show you. So you just download a shader. Just download a shader. I'll leave the descriptions in the link below. I'll leave the link in the description below for um, Optifine and shaders. But um, yeah, you should you drag them in here. Don't unzip them, obviously, because then they won't work properly. And then now that you have like a shader packs folder, you will save. You will then play. Then after you have a shaders pack folder with shaders inside. And the thing, and Optifine, playing with Optifine, um, account. I'm sorry this video is a bit cluttered, but, um, hopefully you watched the whole video before you went to get that shit. But, um, anyways, you click open, you click video settings, then you'll click shaders, then you'll click select your shader, then you'll done. Shaders is, um, under traders is under video settings also if you have um fast render on you can't um you can't enable fast render with shaders if you have fast render on uh, shaders will tell you to turn it off before you can open it so anyways yeah that is how you make your world look beautiful also you do that do use optifine just do do that I don't know why my skin kind of lagged up there, but, um, without Optifine, if you're using a not pro gaming PC or laptop, your world will lag the absolute fuck out. Like, literally, I was using this on shaders without Optifine, and I had to turn this down to, to lowest and frame rate down to lowest, and it still was, like, super slow. So yeah, guys, that is my tutorial on how to install your own shaders. I am I do apologize for the sound of the fan, though, and really, basically how this video was, how like it was a bit confusing, maybe probably, but um yeah, that worked for me, so that should work for you, hopefully. Um, the world is taking a bit of time to load in because then again I don't have the best gaming computer.
it's kind of just like normal. So, yeah, I think so. It's kind of dark, so let's do time. There we go. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.